Okay, so the first thing, let's look at the heat sink. There's two kinds um, of heat sinks. So you can see it actually already has the uh, kind of bracket mounted for retention um, system, but we're actually going to need to remove that because the Wraith cooler, here it is, um, just uses these four screws. It looks like the thermal paste is already applied. It's nice and even. Uh, I guess there's no gaps like the Intel one, but it'll get mushed around anyway. It means it's got to go like that, which I guess makes sense. Oh wow, so you can see the pin. So I forget, that's different. Right? I think on Intel the pins are on the socket, and the CPU just has... So... Yeah. Go corner. It should just... All in. Oh, yep. There it goes. I felt it. Um, yeah, okay. And then. Okay, just push that down. Well, that's cool. That's easy enough. Now, what's cool about this case is see the back. I could still get to this back mounting bracket even with the motherboard mount, which is great. So if I need to take this off and adjust for like a water cooler, um, I don't have to take the whole motherboard out, but I can get to it. So I really like that uh, about this case that they they cut this out. Um, I guess probably a lot of cases do that now, but um, I hadn't actually seen that before, so that's pretty cool. Handy dandy screwdriver. So it's interesting that the motherboard shipped with this bracket already installed because I'm not really sure what it would use it. it seems like old, older AMD fans or something. Okay, so the studs are from the bracket um, in the back, and that's good. We want those. And so now we just got to screw this guy on. So oh, what do you know? It can't go that way. Okay, so it has to go like this or like this. Well, okay. I guess just to make all the logos line up, since Ryzen is written that way, we'll also have AMD be written this way. It's level and even, and uh, to spread the paste around, it's looking pretty good. And you want to make sure it's going down even. So you want to be sure to get each one in a little bit. So you want to make sure to put pressure on these. Make sure they actually bite. And I think diagonal is good. I'm just doing a couple turns, kind of going back and forth. 
Okay, and they do get snug. You can feel kind of when it's done that it gets an extra level of snug. And I'm assuming that's meaning it's done. Okay, you can see the screws don't make it all the way through, which is really good. But. So then you just got to plug this into your CPU fan header. Make sure the grooves lined up.